MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with a preview of Machine 2.0, and I just want to go over some of the improvements in the sample section just to kind of give you a feel for what it looks like and what's changed. So the first thing you're probably going to notice if you record your own samples is you're going to notice that there are mono inputs, so you can actually click and when you go to the record tab under source you'll see of course you still got the external stereo and the internal but now you have the external mono so you can choose your individual mono inputs if you're using like a bass or synth or you know microphone whatever it is that you want to sample in mono you have that right there another thing is going to be on the edit screen you'll notice that you got the play range and the selection range and this also shows up on the hardware so you got play range and selection range now the difference of this and, and what the benefit is is if you remember in 1.8 let's say if I wanted to you know select just a specific area of my sample maybe to cut it delete it reverse it whatever you know you would have to use your starting endpoints well that's what the selection range is it's separate from the starting endpoints of your sample so of course you can do it from the hardware but what's really really cool and really quick is you can quickly just go in and highlight it if I just want to do something to that area I can just highlight it and you know do whatever I want with all these you know edit buttons down here so it makes it really fast to edit and of course yes you can still do it from the hardware if you want to change your selection range from the hardware you can do that and that's totally different from the start and end point of the sample so definitely a cool thing another thing that's really cool is if you like looking at your samples in mono you can look at them that way so if you just want to look at it as a whole wave you can do that click this button again and you can look at it as a full stereo sample now the slice page of course everybody's going to be wanting to know what's going on in the slice page what's cool I mean you know you still got your basic settings with your manual mode detect grid and split but another thing that's cool is let's say if you want to just go in and add your slices you can do that really quick so it makes it really easy to go in and add your slices and another thing let's say you're editing your samples so of course you click edit now you're editing your individual slices you'll notice that I can overlap my slices now so you can have slices that actually overlap within the sampler another um, well desired and definitely going to be well received feature in the slice area so let's look at the let's look at the zone the mapping your mapping is pretty well laid out pretty much the same it's a bit bigger so you get more of an overview of the actual keyboard layout and you see you got your play range your loop your tune and mix and all that stuff is going to show down here on the hardware as well but what's really cool what I want to show you let's say from the hardware let's say actually let's go to a different pad so I'm gonna go over here to a blank pad so now I'm in the zone and now let's say I want to start building you know a new sound I'll go to add and now it brings up my browser and I can actually browse through and add my samples as needed. So let's say I want to add this clap from battery. So now I got that clap. And of course I got the tuning and, and everything, envelopes, mapping, all that for that sample. And then if I want to add another one, I just go here and now I can go through, you know, any of my other samples and add. Let's say if I want to add another clap or maybe I want to add some kind of combo. <laughs> Let's say we want to add that, whatever that is. So it's not really loud. Of course, I can go in and actually mess with the gain on that sample. Different stuff like that. But what's really cool, of course, you can do that from the hardware. It makes it really quick to go in, browse, and you know, layer your stuff really quickly. But another thing that I really like about the layout of the mapping area is this right here. If I click this... So what's really cool about this layout is it gives you a general overview, of course, but it's just much easier to layer and stack your stuff, you know, right there in the mapping area. So, again, you can close that up, but when you open it, I think it's really, really cool. So you can go in here. Let's say I want to go back to my library and look at my samples, and maybe I want to look for like a, I don't know, let's do something metal. So we'll do something metal, and let's say I want to add that in there. I can just add it right there and now it's layered and I can of course you know mess with the different tuning and the envelope and everything the play time so if I just want to play the end of a specific sample I can do that on the individual layers and everything so again you know definitely some improvements and some workflow enhancements in the sampler in terms of you know stacking slicing editing and stuff like that so of course this is just a preview definitely a lot more to come let me know if you got any questions this is St. Joe MachineTutorials.com giving you an overview of of machine 2.0
in the sampler area. Let me know what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe, and make sure you keep it locked to machinetutorials.com. Peace.